I wanted to talk about the tension areas. You'll hear people refer to areas as a, it's a designed and engineered detention area. What's the difference between a retention pond and a detention pond? We're going to go over that right now. So a retention pond holds water all the time. It'll always have water in it. A detention pond or area, it'll hold water after rain for a little bit and then it just dries up. Usually these are here because before construction, before development, there was found wetlands and they have to create these detention ponds and retention ponds, but this is a detention area. Now as the water runs out of the street, the cobble rock breaks the speed and velocity at which uh, the water is flowing so that there's not high erosion in through the bedded areas where the detention area has been created and you don't end up with all the bark just washing away and eroding. Once the detention area reaches a certain point, it then goes into the storm drain catch basins, which there's several throughout this development. Again, you have cobblestone acting as a break, slow the water down as it runs into the detention area. And then under really, really heavy rain conditions, it'll start actually finding its way up into the storm drain catch basins. To learn more about drainage, different products, drainage materials, subscribe.